What is going on, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Marketing. My name is Alex Tablowski, and I have an interesting topic for you today, guys. And before we get into the topic, make sure you subscribe down low right here on the button. Um, it's big red letters that says subscribe to our podcast with Jonathan, myself, Daniel, and Matthew, where we're continuously bringing you new information about mindset, sales strategies, marketing development, and other trending factors that are happening all around the world. But today's topic is going to be very interesting because I am going to teach you what a sales funnel is. What is a sales funnel? Well, it's a sales machine. That's what a sales funnel is. It's a process which takes away your lead generation process and puts it in into an automated state. What do I mean by automated state? Well, it's all done automatically for you. You put the email sequences together. You put the, the times these emails are going to be coming out. You put the follow up emails into it and you start to build awareness and build authority while you're building your sales funnel. So how does the lead, uh, the sales funnel start? Well, before it was very hard. It was coding. You needed coders. You needed developers. You needed website engineers. I can't even tell you how many things you needed to generate this funnel. Luckily, Russell Brunson came up with an idea of creating click funnels, which made everything so much easier from the thousands of templates that you will find right on click funnels platform. It's a SaaS based company that Russell Brunson created. If you have it, if you don't know who Russell Brunson, Brunson is yet, make sure you get to know him, please. Especially if you're an agency owner, you should probably know who Russell Brunson is. But besides that factor, sales funnels start with the lead magnet. Right. So what the lead magnet is, it is a targeted approach, whether you're doing organically or through a paid advertisement. Uh, a lead magnet is something that compels somebody to buy. It. The way you develop a lead magnet sometimes is with great copywriters. Uh, you want to make sure you have great copywriters on your team because they put these funnels together and make them sound so tremendous by telling and sharing the story that relates right to the consumer. Uh, you know, you may have an approach of what your consumer wants and what they want to see and what they're trying to buy. Uh, but it's all, always understanding why people buy. And that's when copyright has come into play by really understanding your point of view of what you're trying to sell. But they put it in a way of why the customer would buy. It's not about you. It's always about the customer. So you start by generating this lead magnet, right? And once you once you generate this lead magnet, you get into a process of where you're building awareness. What do I mean by building awareness? Well, it's a chain of different positive, revealing, uh, relatable, informative email sequences. With these email sequences, if somebody falls on you through your sales funnel and they're still trying to learn from you and you're still trying to set yourself as an authority, you want to create a list of different email sequences that you've built in through the sales funnel uh, that essentially share what kind of product or service you have, but always have in the back of your mind what is it relatable to the customer and what type of value you can bring to your customer. So it's important to always keep that in mind as you're starting to build your customer avatar. Uh, if you guys know for my other discussions before a customer avatar is who you're trying to target and really understanding their deep desires, their deep needs, and why they're willing to purchase. Once you start to understand that, you can create a sequence of different messaging and emails uh, to warm them, to get them to relate to you, to get them to really look at you as a thought leader within their community and look to buy your product or service, whichever it may be. Um, after you really inspire them and brought awareness to what it is you do and they really wanna work with you, right? You start to get into the stage of building interest through these email sequences. How do you build the interest through all these email sequences? Well, you know, you you 
again, it's the copy that you put in, it's the type of writing and the story that you share with them. And if you if you share a story that hooks your prospect, uh, you know, they're one, they're going to create a massive movement uh, through everything that you're doing because they're going to share your content and everything you're doing. And you're going to start to really understand what their decision process looks like, right? Uh, implementing interest is not easy sometimes. You need to develop these stories in order to create the interest, right? People are not always going to buy into you from one time of a click. You know, if an ad they see on Facebook, they may opt in, they may want to read more and learn more, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to buy. So you have to have a backup plan to your sales funnel. If somebody opts in, they sign up for your newsletter, they sign up for your ebook that's coming out, that's free, you know, you gave them that little lead magnet of, you know, bonus structure that, hey, here's some free value for you. Uh, they read your value, they loved it, great. Now you have to try to entice them and really inspire them, right? inspire inspirations kind of like interest right if something inspires you you're going to be interested in doing it uh you know for me it was rugby you know i was inspired by rugby uh in some way and how these guys take hits and they how they you know uh, have the camaraderie you know, behind everything else after they kick each other's ass uh you know i was inspired by that and i wanted to be part of that camaraderie so i decided to play rugby right that was one of my interests back in college fortunately i don't play anymore because you know these bodies are nice and tender and you know i gotta work on my brain more than anything <laughs> i don't want to get any more concussions out here but my point being is um you know, to build that interest, you have to inspire people. You have to relate relate to them with stories, and sometimes they not be your first or second email sequence that you send out to them. Sometimes it's a decision making process that comes through your prospect that they have to really gain some interest within what you're doing and see value in the type of work you're providing to people before they start to opt in and start to make a decision. So once we get to these next stages of the decision making process, you know, get, getting prospects to make a decision isn't easy. Um, beyond the art of storytelling, copywriting, and building a habit of link clicking, you need to have lots and lots of customer reviews and testimonials. This is one of the most powerful ways that you can get people to take action. So what do I mean by this when people are going through your sales funnel and they're trying to under, you know, they're inspired by you, they're interested in your product, but how do they make that decision? You know, they are going to make that decision essentially by reading your testimonials, understanding some of the reviews that your customers have set from you, right so grabbing your success stories is crucial to building your landing page on the sales funnel uh, and sharing some of the success stories video format would always 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 be better so if you have video content that you can post of some of the work you have done in the past and show that proof of concept proof of credibility of how great your services your product your coaching your development process your sales methodology whatever it is your business is all about is your 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 buyers are gonna be, get quicker to that decision of buying right it's going to be a much easier decision for them because they got the chance to learn from others that have dealt with you and before and understand your process a lot easier and the last step in your sales process is really just the action what is your call to action and what are you trying to have your consumer your prospect do on this page right Literally, you'll see a lot of call to actions come through the sales funnel. Sometimes they're floating on the right hand side where people can click in and, you know, when they're ready to buy, they're read through your page, they're they're ready to work with you. They'll click that that side button that says, hey, book your free meeting with me or book uh, buy your product here. Here's your shipping options. Here's your schedule options. Here's your webinar options whatever your sales funnel intends now sales funnels can always be different they could be webinar funnels they could be product product funnels they can be consultation funnels whatever you want them to do there's different ways to build a funnel it's like literally a web you know you've built it it goes in different sequences different journeys uh to different customers and different avatars it's all around you see me kind of dancing doing a little bit arabic dancing over here literally that's how funnel looks like <laughs> uh, so create these different se sequences of emails and journeys for um, 
your prospect. But at the end of it all, it's about the action. So what is your call to action and how are people going to take that necessary action? You have to make sure you have that in your funnel where it's a people click right on there you get their credit card information right away you know the best the best way i've had success with funnels is grab that credit card as soon as you can get that purchase of sale in and you know you you could then upsell your services any way you want you know your your funnel can continuously click 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 however you want it to click and now you have people opt in if they're clicking through all those funnels great you have a great action you get it you got a great action plan you capture that credit card and you got people really interested in what you're doing and they're going to be willing to learn from you and if you're in that case it's a good start why is it a good start because what they're learning from you they're going to share with their friends and their friends are going to share with their friends and then you have an organic chain of referrals that are consistently coming to your program to your product to your service that's getting purchased so sales funnel you want to learn about them contact us below i'll give you more information on how to build one what they typically look like uh, for different industries because there's so many different sales funnels you can do and this seminar just won't cheat you that if you have questions about how to create it where to look how to do different integrations please ask us below again guys my name is alex Dablowski. this was a great phenomenal interview to have with you i'm hoping you guys learned something about taking action and creating your sales funnel and your approach um, our goal is to educate you guys with as much information and knowledge that we can of everything that we do here on Quarantine Marketing. Again, make sure you guys are subscribing, follow us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook, and I'll make sure to get back to you guys with any questions you may have on Sales Funnel. Till next time, peace.